Another thing that makes Magic Info Server perfect for systems administrators is the ability to control devices remotely from any browser on the network as if you were standing in front of the device itself. In order to do this, you must first set up the RM server in the server software. To do that, log in to the server in the usual way and navigate to the settings menu. From here, select external server management and then remote control server. Click add to open a configuration window. Here, you would give your server a name and then click the check button to ensure that the name is not already taken. Then type in the IP address of the server. This is the same as the main server address, as is the web port, which you will enter next. If you need to use encrypted connection, choose the SSL tick box, likewise with the private tick box. Finally, click save. It's normally a good idea to restart the server after this. Once restarted, log in again to the server and navigate to the devices option and select a device by clicking on it. Then click on the quick control button at the top of the screen. This will open a window allowing you to turn the screen on and off, restart the device, change the source, control or mute the volume and empty the device storage. Here you'll also find the remote control option, which when selected will open up a further window connecting directly to the device and displaying a virtual representation of the screen and remote control. You can now use the virtual remote control as you would a physical remote to control the screen. Once done, remember to click the disconnect to close the remote window, otherwise you'll get an error when attempting to open for any other device. If you'd like me to continue producing these videos, please subscribe using the button below and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks for your time. Bye.